Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Um, I have a very short video to share with you that's coming from Dabu777. And it's uh, uh, two minutes and three seconds. It's called, Did Fauci Just Admit He Lied About Herd Immunity to Trick Americans into the Vaccine? Oh, I can hardly stand to look at him. Okay, I'm just going to play this for you because it's so short. Take a listen. This is Dabu7. And it looks like this piece of work, Anthony Fauci, has been caught moving the goalpost, so to speak. So you can sit there and you can say, oh, it was a lie. And others could say, oh, it wasn't. Back and forth. I'm just going to put a question mark on it. Y'all can debate about it. But to me, it's pretty obvious that when a man comes out in front of the whole entire world, not just the United States, the world, and says, hmm, repeatedly, 60 to 70 percent is the number on herd immunity. Repeatedly, you go back and get these clips. Then, around a month ago, he starts to drift these higher. He drifts it to 70 to 75 percent. More recently on CNBC, from 75 to 80 to 85, and then all the way up to 90. And then when asked about this, Fauci essentially said that he lied for political purposes due to vaccine skeptics. Of course he did. How does that make you feel? Now you all know that this man is willing to do whatever it takes to get you to buy into an agenda. This whole line of people seated here, treason. Treason, 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 treason. <laughs> so it should all be in court being tried for such. Sure enough, for selling out the American people. And this man goes on a telephone interview, and he acknowledged as much by saying that he deliberately was slowly moving the goalposts. Partly based on new science and partly based on his gut feelings and his beliefs. Okay, well, I'll go ahead and stop it there. It lacks about 60 seconds, 55 seconds, so you might want to listen to the whole thing. These people sitting here in a row, this woman is supposed to be Hillary Clinton, but I don't believe it is. I don't know who this uh, gentleman beside her is. I don't recognize him at all. The one on the very on the very end, not standing up. He's probably uh, one of the men in black, security, whatever. The one sitting down, I've seen him, but I don't know who he is. Anyway, I'd like to know what what is going on here. Are they in a? They're not in a trial. Well, we'd know about that, but but what a questioning. Uh, it's obviously the back row because there's a wall behind them. So I'd like to know where they're at, what kind of place they're at. Um, he says, all right, this is what he put in his, in his description box. When asked about it, Fauci essentially said he lied for political purposes due to vaccine skeptics. In a telephone interview the next day, Dr. Fauci acknowledged that he had slowly but deliberately been moving the goalposts. He is... He is doing so, he said, partly based on new science and partly on his gut feeling that the country is finally ready to hear what he really thinks. Oh my my, we're just now ready to hear what he thinks? Learn more, and then he's got a, a link here to zerohedge.com slash COVID-19. Your support of independent media is appreciated. And then it gives his PayPal account. DLive. You can see him on DLive.tv. If you want to stream, sign up. Apparently, you do anything on there, you're going live. Rumble.com. Register. Dabu7. So he's got an account on Rumble. 
I hadn't heard of that one. Now it says uh, he has a link here to undergroundworldnews.com. I don't know if that's somewhere he gets his news or what. He, he doesn't say, but he says my other YouTube channel is Dabu777, Twitter.com slash Dabu7, Facebook.com Dabu7, and Instagram.com Dabu7. Okay. So, I tell you that, how, now what are, now what are the Americans supposed to think? They're supposedly pushing this vaccine on people, or are they going to just expect them to, I mean, how many people are going to see this? How many people have you tried to show a YouTube video to and they refuse to watch them? They don't care that it's something they might want to hear this time. If it's from YouTube, they don't want to hear it. That makes me so mad because there's so much silliness and, and lies on YouTube and they, they'll let that stuff stay up. There's no rule against people being silly. And if it's entertaining, they love it. Apparently, they want people to think YouTube is for entertainment purposes only. When it is not, there are many people on YouTube that are truth seekers and truth tellers. And we're out to expose the truth, and they don't want us to. So we have to talk in code or just leave a link or whatever. Okay, I'll end it there. Not much more you can say on that subject. I pray you all have a blessed day, and I hope if you celebrated Christmas, I pray that Jesus was in it. That's all he wanted. He wanted it kept about him if we were going to celebrate it. That's what he told me. If you're going to celebrate it, keep it about me. Keep it holy. Well, anyway, um, like I said, I'll let you go with that, and I'll talk to you later.